So I've been using One UI 5.1 on the S23 Ultra for quite a few days and there are some features that I really liked. In One UI 5.1, like the iPhone, you can now separate a subject or an object by just long pressing it. Now you can't drag and drop it just yet, but you can copy and paste it anywhere, or you can share it directly with your friends or colleagues via whatever apps you've got installed, or you can directly save it as an image in your gallery. And the same thing can be done while watching a video. So just pause in the frame, long press on whatever it is that you want to cut out, and you'll get the same options again. Just make sure it's the native inbuilt Samsung player. Next, there's a brand new battery widget that gives you real-time battery levels of other Samsung Galaxy products that you own, like the Galaxy Watch, the Galaxy Buds, or even your S Pen. And once you do get One UI 5.1, you could go into the widget section, go into battery, and you'll be able to pull out this brand new widget. But do note that the battery levels of your Galaxy Buds will only be shown if your Galaxy Buds are actually connected to your phone. Unlike in the iPhone where they show even if they're not connected. Now with One UI 5.1, you'll be able to switch your performance profile to a light mode, which was actually introduced first in the Galaxy Z Fold series, but it's here in One UI 5.1. And essentially, it's gonna give you better battery efficiency and more cooling over performance. So you'll have a choice now. Next, you'll be able to decide where do your screenshots and screen recordings get stored. Like by default, they get stored in the screenshots album in gallery, but you can change that. So I can just change it to, let's say, they should always go into documents, right? And now if I take a screenshot, I go into my files, and then if I go into documents folder, I'll see the screenshot there. And just in the same section, you'll also be able to decide where should your screen recordings be stored. And speaking of screenshots, you also get a take screenshot toggle. Now, if you click on the label, it'll give you access to all of these settings. So it's a lot easier to get to these settings. And obviously, if you tap on the button, it takes a screenshot, which is not the big deal, but getting the access to those settings is. Now, you may not see it when you first install One UI 5.1. You'll have to pull out the take screenshot toggle and place it along with other toggles. Next, in digital well-being settings, you already had volume monitor and driving monitor, but now you get walking monitor, which tells you how much you're using your phone while you're walking and which app you're using. Although I highly recommend that you don't do that, but if you do, you now know how much of it. I'm surprised that Samsung included this feature, but I'll be interested to know if that's an interesting data point for you. Let me know in the comments. Now with One UI 5.1, you also get to decide which apps can show content on the lock screen. So earlier you could either show content or hide content, but now you get the flexibility of choosing the apps that can show content on the lock screen. So I think that's a great security and privacy feature and it's here. Now, even within the camera app, they've added more functionality. So in pro mode, you now get the option of saving just JPEG, just RAW or both. Earlier, you could either save both photos or just the raw photo. But now you can just save the JPEG as well. Another update in the camera app is that in pro video mode, you now have the option to record a high bitrate video. So if you go into pro video mode, then into settings and then into advanced video options, there's an option to shoot in high bitrate only for pro video. And you just have more information that you can then color correct even better. But whether this setting actually improves your color correction process is something we can test out and hopefully include in our review video. So you might want to subscribe. Next, now when you record videos, you'll get an option to record videos of the same quality, but with a slightly reduced file size. It's called prioritize video quality. Now, if you compare it to earlier One UI 5, you had the option to reduce file size which was the same as prioritizing saving space on One UI 5.1. And that is to reduce file size by 40%, of course, at the cost of quality. But with this option, you'll be able to reduce file size without compromising quality. Next, the search function in your gallery has become extremely smart. It's really intelligent now. So let's say I start searching for selfies. Okay, it's gonna show me all the selfies, obviously, but within that, it's going to allow me to filter down. Are you wearing sunglasses, jackets? Are there recent highlights? And you can really come down to the photo that you're looking for. Also, you can now go into expert raw mode from directly within the camera app. Of course, you still need to have the expert raw app installed on your phone, but it's just a clean, quick way to access expert raw mode. Next, you now have the option to set the color tone for your selfies between natural and warm. I definitely think warm is much better, but yeah, at least you have the choice now. 
With One UI 5.1, they've also changed the way they handle Eye Comfort Shield. So there's something called as Enhanced Comfort now, which essentially takes into consideration the contrast and color tones as well. Like earlier, it would just lower down the blue light emission, making the screen a bit yellow, which is more pleasing to the eye. But now, it takes into consideration, as I said, the contrast and the color tones. Next, just like in iOS, for every mode that I choose, I can have a different set of wallpapers applied to the home screen as well as the lock screen. So in case of sleep, that's my home screen wallpaper and that one is my lock screen wallpaper. And as I said, I can change this for every mode. So let's say I switch to work, for example. And if you see now, I've got a different wallpaper on the home screen and a different wallpaper on my lock screen for the work mode specifically. And setting it up is real simple. You just long press on the mode style and enter into modes and routines. Then choose the uh, routine that you wish to choose wallpapers for. And then you can choose one for the lock screen, just like that. And then you can tap on the home screen and then choose a wallpaper for the home screen. They could be the same, they could be different. That's all up to you. And yeah, once that's done, this is for home screen and then this is for the lock screen. And lastly, along with the battery widget, they've also added a new Bixby widget. Now, once you place it, you can long press on it and then go into settings to change the way it looks and the way it works. So if you go into settings, you'll be able to choose the theme, right, like white or black, and you'll also be able to change the opacity to make it look nicer and aesthetically more pleasing. And additionally, you'll be able to choose four functions of your choice, whichever ones you think you're gonna need more, and then just hit save. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm sure there would be a lot more in One UI 5.1 under the wraps, which we still haven't discovered, but these were the ones that I could quickly find out for you. Now, do note that not all of these features are going to be available in all of the Samsung Galaxy phones. It'll depend on whether your hardware supports these features. If not, you're not gonna see them. All right, thanks for watching guys. I hope this was really helpful. And if it was, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon and mark all. Really helps the channel grow. I'll see you guys in the next one.